Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Pro X by Reynolds Bags. Now, this is the 2024 stamped bag. They did make some changes to this bag for this new year. So, if you're looking, if you have a set, an order set, or if you're looking to buy a used set and it's not the 2024, they're going to be a little different in the feel and the fill of the bag. So, just be aware. But this is the new 2024 edition of the bag. So, you buy a new set for Reynolds, this will be what you're getting. Let's go ahead and break this bag down. We'll start with materials. This is Pro X as a carpet bag. It has that Pro Advantage carpet, that carpet that Reynolds is really famous for, they call their OG carpet. It's a four speed. It's great for control. You can put blockers up. You can play a dirty style game with it. It's still decently hole friendly. I mean, again, in the, in the bigger scheme of things, it's not hole friendly at all. It'll hang on the hole. But for a four speed material, for a material with this much control, it does a pretty good job around the hole. Fast side on this. This is that Surefire Game Changer fast side. Same fast side that Reynolds uses on the Typhoon and the Victory. It's a, a eight and a half speed material. It's fast. It's it slides at the boarding conditions great for pushing collecting it's a wonderful fast side pairs well with this little this control side carpet so that you can you, know, you can throw blockers the control side you can clean it up really easily with this fast side so we're about a four eight and a half speed bag on this template wise it's a medium template but it feels like a larger template because it's a it's a thinner looser version of this bag and, and the reason it's thinner is the fill they, they Reynolds has changed the fill this year, 2024, all their bags in their lineup are supposed to have a mixed fill, mixed with that flat fill with some of the, the bead fill. In the past, the, the, the older models of, of this Pro X had a whole 100% bead fill, and that bead fill has a little more volume to it, so it gives the bag a fuller feeling. So these bags are a little bit looser. They've got more flop than what you're probably used to. So if you've thrown a Pro X, you're starting a Pro Advantage, you're used to a little bit more fullness in the back. The back's a lot looser, a lot floppier. I, to be honest, when I heard they were making the fill change across their bags, I was excited for some of their bags. I was a little disappointed in others. And this is one of the bags that I thought was going to be disappointing. Because I really liked the way the Pro X played. I liked the way that bead fill played in there. So I, was, I, was, I wasn't expecting to like this bag. When I got it, I was surprised by it. Actually, I think I ended up falling in love with the thumb. I'll get to why. The bag is different. It plays differently. It's to be, you know, it, it on the plus side of the fill, by taking a lot of those beads out and, and putting a mixed fill with some flat in there, you, you soften the landing. So the bag doesn't have as much of a kick as it used to have. It doesn't have as much of a bounce as it used to have. So if you've thrown these products in the past and you let, you hate it the way they bounced, you hate it the way they kicked on you, you're going to love this new one. At least give it a little try. I think you're going to like it a lot better. On the negative side, it takes away some of the ability to shape shots. So, so you can still cut this bag, not as well as you could before. It's a bag that, you know, you can roll and flop, but the average to blower player is not going to roll or flop this bag. I think the old Pro X was a much easier bag to roll, a much easier bag to cut. By taking some of that action out, taking that bounce out of the fill, you're, you're, you're taking the shot shaping out, but you're giving the bag a softer landing, so it's, less, it's more forgiving on the landing. You're also, I think, giving the bag more flop which gives the bag more forgiveness around the hole. That allows that corner to catch that hole when it goes by and grab the spinner and come back in. Those fuller bags want to shoot by the shoot by the hole, shoot over the hole. This one does a better job of grabbing. So it's kind of a trade-off, right? You're, you're gaining in the, the forgiveness of the landing, you're gaining the forgiveness around the hole, you're losing some of your shot shaping ability. And that's something that you've got to you know, weigh what's more important to you. Honestly, I, 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 I like the shot shaping, but I do like the fact that I've got more forgiveness. So I, the balance... I lost in one area, but I gained somewhere else. I, I really like the way the bag's played. In fact, let's go ahead and jump into playability on this bag while I'm talking about it. And it, it, it's a control bag. This is a bag designed to play a dirtier style game. It's a bag designed to throw blockers up there. It's designed to put congestion in front of the hole. And then you've got a fast enough fast side. You can flip it over. You don't throw much harder. And you can just go clean that mess up. And that's what this Pro X really shines at. So this new version of Pro X to me, so the, the older version with the bead fill, I like it to put a blocker up there and kind of play more of a cut. Cut around, cut around, and then clean up at the end. What I found with this new bag is what I prefer to do now is throw more of a blocker up there and play that push, replace, push, replace, and then and the last bag clean up. I can throw a cut, right? Yeah, I can I can kind of throw that cut and get around a little bit. Again, it's not it's not as easy to cut. It's still cuttable. And the other thing is the collectability of the bag. Because the bag's floppier, you're gonna get a little more of an accordion effect when you catch the corner. But I found that the, the bag, this carpet, just does a great job of grabbing and wanting to just pull this bag in. So even though it's floppier, I didn't lose much in my collectability of it. I, I, you know, if I had bags more on my opponent's side, I didn't have to do much crazy, you know, just come down, catch it, and I still pull it in pretty easily. Bags that were hanging, pretty collectible. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, you're going to get this material hang. This material is not, this material, it's it's, it's a four speed because it is sticky. It's a four speed, it's four speed because it has a lot of friction. So up around the hole, it's going to hang. And you take away some of those beads and you add some flat fill, you lose a little bit of the hole freeliness, you know, as far as, as far as it dripping and cascading into the hole. 
again, it's a minor, it's a minor change. It's a, I'm, I'm nitpicking here in the differences, but I do think as far as hole friendliness, the older version was more hole friendly. As far as forgiveness at grabbing the hole, the newer version is better at that. So you got to figure again, you know, what's, what's your, what, what do you prefer? What are you looking for? I get to me the the trade-off balances itself out because even though the bag hangs more, I, I didn't have a problem coming through and clipping it and taking it in. And I had more bags that grabbed and hung that on the old version would have skipped and been out of play that were there that at least gave me a chance to collect them. So where I would have, where would I lose in the whole friendliness? I gained in the fact that more bags are in play, if that makes sense. So all in all, it's a solid bag. I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed throwing it. In fact, the, the Pro X, this carpet, I love this carpet because it's wonderful for beginners. If you're just starting out, you're not sure where to go. You're not sure what bag to start with. This Pro X and, and the Pro Advantage, I recommend both of those a lot to brand new players. Probably the Pro Advantage more so than the Pro X because it has a little, it has a slightly more controllable fast side. So if, and when you start on new, sometimes speed is a big issue for you. But this 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 carpet is great for when you're starting out, you're just learning to play, and you're trying to put four bags on the board. And then as you get better and better, you can play this even up to an elite level. I mean, pros will throw this bag. Like this is a bag that that fits through the, all the stages of progression as you get as you advance in your cornhole career, as you as you improve throughout, you know, playing the game. This is a bag that can go with you, and that's why I like to recommend it a lot. Plus, the price makes it very reasonable. It's easy to get. It's affordable and it's something that you can learn to play with and you can continue to play as you go along. So all in all, it's a solid bag. I love the product. In fact, it's it's probably my favorite. It's, it's one of my favorite bags. It may be my favorite. The, the new Fracture, I really love as well. But I think I I, I like to play a dirty style game where I think the Pro X is probably my favorite Reynolds bag out there right now. Yeah, it's great bag. Again, it's different. I, I, I I don't know if I like this version better than the old one. I love the old Pro X with the all bead fill, but I do love the way this plays as well. It's just a different style of game. I could change the way I play. I do think that this is a bag that more players are going to like. So if you played a lot of blind draws and you like a carpet bag and you've been throwing the Pro X, a lot of players who don't throw carpet are not going to like that old Pro X with that bouncier fill. They're going to like this one a little better. So maybe you may have a better chance if you're looking to try to throw a carpet bag and you play blind draws to get a set of these and give them a try. Because if you can get this in a faster bag player's hands, they may be able to work with it and play and, and deal with it because it, it has a little bit more of that flop or the feel that maybe they're used to. It's not as full and puffy as some carpet bags can be. So that leads me into availability. And Reynolds does a great job keeping bags stock. They're almost always in stock. They have a website. It's reynoldsbags.com. Put a link down in the description for you guys. The bags are $74 to standard design. They have some other special designs that are, I think, run like $85 or somewhere in that range. But $75 or $74 to standard design, plus it's like $11 and some odd cents for shipping. So eighty, it's it's $85 and something, just over under $86 bucks shipped to you. Let's put it that way. Less than $86 shipped to you for a set of bags. These are ACL stamped for 2024 season. Well, if I mentioned that, so we play ACL events, you can throw these $85 for an ACL stamp bag is a phenomenal price. The, the one knock I would say is their designs there. They don't have the best designs out there. However, they do custom work. So if you have a custom design, you want a custom logo, a picture or whatever, they can put that on there and they do a great job at like speed wise. The bags, even, even with customs, they get them out quickly. If you're ordering standard design, they usually ship them that day or the next day, depending on when you order. So the, their shipping time is hard to beat, uh, and their prices are just are just wonderful. That's another reason why I recommend a lot of times the new players. I love to hear your guys' feedback on the Pro X. Again, if you throw them, love to know what you like, what you don't like. Always love hearing your guys' opinions on these bags, and I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.